Hello everyone, let's pick some polishes. Okay, first polish is gonna be right here, and this is Essie's Virgin Snow. So that is the first one. Okay, and to pair with that, let's go on this side. Ew, and this is OPI Less Is Norse. So OPI Less Is Norse and uh, Essie's Virgin Snow. Ooh. I like those two together. Wow. Very pretty. Okay. All right. So those are the two polishes I picked. I will meet you back here with the completed Manny. We'll see what I can come up with. Here's a closer look at these beautiful colors. First up, OPI Less Is Norse. This is a really cool and unique kind of gray toned navy. Very pretty and very unique for OPI. Then we have Essie's Virgin Snow. This is a really pretty light lavender cream. First of all, I did start this mani off with a base coat. The one I used is Sally Hansen Maximum Growth. Then I'm just taking some striping tape and creating some uh, stripes on my nail. Um, I don't have any rhyme or reason to do this. I'm just kind of messing around and putting them however I like them. And I want to do two so that I can kind of space them apart, leaving some negative space in between these colors. So now taking uh, Less Is Norse on a dotting tool and then I'm just applying that to the nail. And then using a pair of tweezers, I'm going to remove the striping tape from that part of my nail. And now just using the brush out of the uh, SE Virgin Snow Polish, I'm going to go ahead and paint the bottom part of my nail. And then again, removing that striping tape with my tweezers. Like I mentioned, I have no set design plan for this. I just know that I like that negative space, so I wanted to incorporate in that in this mani. So I'm just randomly placing the stripes in different directions for each one of my nails, making sure to leave that uh, little space there for the negative space to come through. I decided I really love the look of this silver striping tape against these two colors. So I'm going to take some more striping tape and apply it to that original tape line. And I'm just going to clip off the excess striping tape. I've been asked in past videos how I get my striping tape to stay on my nail. What I do is when I'm clipping it off, I actually make sure that it is clipped off a tiny bit shorter than my actual nail. That way when I apply the top coat over the top of it, it is actually going to stick down and there are no little pieces that are hanging over my nail that can get stuck on something and cause it to peel off. Now once I have replaced the striping tape on all of my nails, I'm using Believe Beauty's Gel Effects Top Coat over all of my nails. It's going to help seal in that striping tape and again, clip the striping tape just a tiny bit shorter than the actual nail. That'll make sure that it does not lift. And here is my final design. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think this turned out really cool. I really enjoy the negative space design. I think it's really awesome. And that silver striping tape, wow. Again guys, remember just to clip the striping tape a tiny bit shorter than the actual nail. Please leave any comments or suggestions below and I will see you in the next one.